And church, I'm so glad that the church, this church, was not built upon Peter. You know why? Because if the church was built upon Peter, it would be a cursing, denying church. And if the church was built upon Abraham, it would be a faithless, lying church. If the church was built upon King David, it would be a bloody, adulterous church. And if the church was built upon Solomon, it would be a vain glory, idolatrous church. If the church was built upon Jeremiah, it would be a tearful, weeping church. And if the church was built upon Jonah, it would be a fearful, sleeping church. If the church was built upon Moses, it would be a hot-tempered, murdering church. And if the church was built on the children of Israel, it would be a stiff necked murmuring church. If the church was built upon Thomas, it would be a doubting, unbelieving church. If the church was built upon Jacob, it would be a conniving, deceiving church. But church, I'm glad that the church, this church, was built upon Jesus. For when the church is built upon Jesus, it will be a glorious, victorious church. I said, when the church is built upon Jesus, it would be a demon staying, always praying church. When the church is built upon Jesus, it will be a dead raising, forever praising church. When the church is built upon Jesus, it will be a fasting, everlasting church. When the church is built upon Jesus, it will be a holy, living, forgiving church. When the church is built upon Jesus, it will be a moving, grooving church. When the church is built upon Jesus, it will be a righteous, precious church. When the church is built upon Jesus, it will be a Bible preaching, Bible teaching church. When the church is built upon Jesus, it will be a God said and God church when the church is built upon Jesus it will be a solid ground and heaven bound church Amen. church we all need to get a personal revelation as did Peter about who Jesus the rock is you see because in times like these we need a savior. In times like these, we need an anchor. Be very sure, be very sure, will your anchor hold and grip the solid rock? This rock is Jesus. He is the one. This rock is Jesus, God's only son. Be very sure, be very sure, and let your anchor hold and grip the solid rock. You see, young people, children, and church at large, a personal connection is what is required. Because your mother's, father's, sister's, or brother's connection to the rock can't save you. Neither can the pastors, elders, deacons, or Sabbath school teachers connection to the rock save you. You see, salvation is a personal thing between you and God. That's why Paul says in Philippians 2, if we can turn our Bible to Philippians 2, 9 to 12. If you have your Bible, Philippians 2. Nine to twelve. And it reads Therefore, God has also highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of those in heaven and those on earth and those under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now, much in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. 
consider for a moment, young people, children, young adults, and the church on the whole. The characteristics of the free Hebrew boys who were able to declare in the face of death in Daniel 3 verses 16, they exclaimed, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, in whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery service, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O King. Now, the significance of this statement is this. You see, in the Old Testament and the New Testament, the Jews and the children of Israel used to refer to God as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, or the God of David, or the God of Moses, or the God of our fathers. But I want to suggest to you, Peckham today, that when you are caught between a rock and a hard place, when you need deliverance from the fiery furnace, when you need deliverance from the lion's den, when you need deliverance from the giants in your life, you don't need Abraham's God, you need a God that you know for yourself. You need to be able to declare like the free Hebrew God, our God will deliver us. Or like David, my God will supply all my needs. So how do we get the revelation of Jesus as the rock? How do we get to know this man, Christ Jesus, the rock of all ages? Four key points to get to know Jesus as the rock. 